The elements of the financial statement are five, which are assets, capital, liabilities, income, and expenses. Okay, so for now, let's focus our attention on the element of the balance sheet. We will talk about the income statement later. Okay, so let's talk about the balance sheet. As I said, the balance sheet is simply a statement that is prepared to determine the financial position of the business. And the statement shows the assets, the liabilities, and the capital of the business. And when this statement is prepared, we must see that the assets of the business is, are equal to the liabilities and capital. Okay. So now let's look at this element one by one and see what they mean. First, let's look at asset. An asset is a resource controlled by an entity as a result of past event and from which um, economic benefits are expected to flow to the entity. Okay, so when we talk about assets, we are referring to resources that are controlled by the business and from which future economic benefits are expected to flow to the entity. So when we talk about asset, we are simply referring to the resources that the business controls. The business controls. So when we talk about asset, we are basically talking about the property of the business. Properties of the business, plant and machineries, uh, motor vehicle, equipment, cash in hand, cash at bank, okay? All these are assets. Assets are basically classified into two, okay, which are Okay, so when we talk about types of assets, we are actually referring to fixed assets to current assets. Okay, so these are basically the two types of assets we have in accounting. Okay. Now, let's talk about fixed asset. When we talk about fixed asset, they are those assets So, with fixed asset, the benefits of it to the business is expected to go beyond one account period, okay? They are assets which are purchased not with the intention of selling it, okay? They are bought with the intention of keeping it for a long period of time. These are what referred to as fixed assets. Now, under the fixed asset, 
we have two types. Okay? We have tangible fixed asset and we have intangible fixed asset. Now let's look at tangible fixed asset. When we talk about tangible fixed asset, we are referring to those fixed assets that are physical in nature. Okay? We can see them, we can touch them, we can feel them. These fixed assets are available for us to see, okay, and touch, okay, and feel them. All right. So, examples of such assets, examples of such assets include land and building, plant and equipment. Motor vehicle, we can talk about fixtures and fitting. Okay, so all these assets are assets we can see, we can feel, and we can touch them. They are available, they exist in physical form. So we call them um, fixed asset or non current asset. Okay, so tangible fixed asset. That is it. Now, let's look at intangible fixed asset. When we talk about intangible fixed asset, we are actually referring to those assets that do not have physical um, appearance. Okay, um, they exist, but we can't feel them, touch them, or see them as asset that um, exist, but they are actually valuable to the business. They are valued by the business. Okay. So let's look at some of these assets. Examples of intangible fixed assets include the following. Okay, so we have three of such assets here. As we progress, we will come across some others. So that is it for fixed asset for now. Let's continue with current asset. Now when we talk about current asset, we are referring to those assets that can be easily converted into cash. Okay? So when we talk about current asset, they can be converted into cash within one accounting period, okay? Um, most of them exist for the purpose of resale. For example, a business that deals in selling of goods, the goods that they sell are asset, referred to it as inventory or stock. So this is one of the current assets and it is expected that within the year, these goods will be converted into cash through sales. We will sell it and we receive cash. And that is um, one of the assets. Okay, so they are cash or um, assets that are expected to be converted into cash in one accounting period. Okay, not more than 12 months. Within um, the 12 months, such assets are expected to be converted into cash. All right. So, when we talk about current assets, examples of such assets include cash, trade, Debtors, prepaid expenses, accrued income, so we can have cash in hand and cash at bank, okay, they are all 
asset to the business. Then, as I mentioned earlier, stock or inventory. These are the goods that are traded by the business for income. Okay, so these are examples of um, current assets. It is not exhaustive. We will look at some of them as we progress. Okay, so we've talked about assets and we've looked at fixed assets and current assets. Let's now look at two more assets that have not been mentioned in our explanation of assets. Okay, and one is fictitious asset. When we talk about fictitious asset, we are referring to um, debit balances that stands in the account at the end of the year. Okay, um, they are referred to as asset just because they have debit balances, and they come about as a result of unusual. Um, expenses that have been incurred by the business. With this type of asset, they are actually expenses in nature. An example of such asset is the expenses incurred prior to the formation of a business. When businesses are formed, there are some expenses that are incurred and these expenses um, are normally very huge and therefore we, we don't classify them as expenses that will be deducted from a profit of one year. They are very huge. So they are classified as asset, as capital item and they are written off um, year after year. So we refer to them as fictitious assets, okay? And example is the expenses incurred in the formation or prior to the formation of a business. Now, the next asset is um, wasting assets. So here I have said that example is Preliminary expenses, preliminary expenses, and that is the expenses incurred, all the expenses incurred prior to the formation of a business, okay? Then the next one is wasting asset. Now, wasting asset refers to those assets that fall in value as their benefit or gains are extracted from them. Okay, so when we talk about wasting asset, we are actually referring to those assets that um, waste away through usage. Okay, so an example of such asset include mines. Okay, when the gold or the bauxite or the mineral, any other mineral is extracted from, say, the soil, the value of that asset as the land reduces, okay? And so that is what we refer to as wasting asset. The more we take gold out of our soil, the value of the land reduces. With gold in the soil, the value of the land is so, so, so high or huge, okay? So we call them wasting asset. Another example is quarry, okay? quarry. And we can also talk about forest as an example of wasting asset. So these assets uh, are difficult to be replaced as and when they are used up. All right, so we can talk about mines and we can talk about quarry. We can also talk about um, forest. Okay, and so on and so forth. So now, Assets have been explained as the resources controlled by an entity and from which um, future benefits are expected to flow 
to the entity, okay? So here with asset, we are saying that they are the properties of the business, properties under the control of the business. And the business use such properties to generate income, okay? So that is what we refer to as asset. We looked at fixed asset and we have also looked at current asset. And we've been able to identify the um, fixed asset, what it is, and the types of fixed assets we have. We looked at tangible fixed assets and we have also looked at intangible fixed assets, okay? And we have gone ahead to look at current asset, some of which are already here. And we have also looked at some other asset uh, we didn't mention under this, which include fictitious assets um, and wasting assets. These are all resources controlled by a business. Take note of them. We will be meeting them often. Okay? All right. Now, let's turn our attention to um, liabilities.